Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be finally sharing my DIY front porch makeover on a budget. In this video, I will be showing you farmhouse porch decor ideas, as well as some easy porch DIYs. We'll be making a DIY crate table, DIY concrete planters, and making an easy DIY some more station all on a budget. This is my third video in my DIY home makeover series, and I love sharing farmhouse style decorating ideas and DIYs on a budget. So this is what our front porch looks like right now. We just have some old chairs from our old house and we're really lacking any sort of functionality out here. So my plan for this space is to find some affordable rocking chairs, add a little table, and then do a lot of other functional and fun decor pieces, add some plants, and just make this space a lot more inviting and functional for our family so we can actually sit out here and start enjoying this space. The first thing I do when making over any space is to remove all of the items, wipe everything down so we can begin on a clean, clutter-free surface. This little rug is in desperate need of a clean, so I'm gonna throw it in the washing machine while Miles and Ryan start building our rocking chairs. I was able to find these rocking chairs at Walmart. They were the cheapest that I found them at about $70 a piece, and I am so excited. I have always dreamed of having a front porch with rocking chairs, and I know we're gonna get so much use out of these. So I knew I wanted some kind of table out here and I stumbled upon these crates on sale at Michael's for $10 a piece. So I decided I would try to make a table out of them. The first step is to remove the sticker and to do this, I just wet it with some water and used a box cutter to help scrape it all off. And then I just let them dry in the sun before applying some all weather wood stain. One thing I always underestimate is the time painting something is going to take me. I figured I would just fly through this process, but the rough unfinished wood on the inside made this more time consuming than I expected. I also made the mistake of using a rag instead of a brush to apply the stain and my hands were completely covered in it by the end. And not surprisingly, stain is very hard to get off. So I ended up soaking my hands in a little bit of canola oil and then using dish soap and a scrub brush to finally get it all off. So moral of the story, use a brush when applying stain or a sponge that is specifically meant for applying stain just so you save yourself that extra cleanup hassle. This stain is actually the same one that I used on my DIY Ray Dunn display shelves and I plan to use it on some more shelves for another room makeover I have planned. So I love that I'm really getting the most out of it and I'm so impressed at how many projects I accomplished with just one little can of stain. And the gentlemen have the last rocker all set up and I am beyond excited about this. I can't wait to make over this porch and just start making so many memories out here. I've mentioned this in multiple videos, but one of my favorite things about Hobby Lobby and Michaels and stores like that are shopping the after season sales. And I was able to find this really pretty rug at Hobby Lobby for 80% off. It was part of their spring collection. I think it's gonna add a nice little touch to this space. And I just plan on setting it right in front of the rocking chairs. Next, I stopped by a local nursery to pick out some flowers and plants for the porch, and it was just the most peaceful and beautiful place. I wish I could have brought all the flowers home with me. We've had these mismatched planters that we brought over from our old house, and they are faded from the sun, and some are black, some are brown. So I'm going in and cleaning them off and spray painting them a light gray color with the hopes of achieving a concrete planter look. 
I've been seeing concrete planters everywhere and I love the look, but they are really expensive. And since I already had these on hand, I figured I would try my hand at this little DIY. If they don't look like concrete planters, spray painting them is an affordable way to reuse these old planters and make them look uniform and match my current decor style. So if you've been here a while, then you know I am no novice at spray painting. It's one of the best and most affordable ways to give a piece a fresh new look and it's something that I do around here very often. So I figured I would share some tips with you guys that I have learned through many trial and error with spray paint. So the key to applying is to keep the can about 10 inches away from your item and you want to spray in even fluid horizontal motions. And the best way to apply spray paint is to do several light coats and allowing each coat of paint to dry in between. This is going to prevent paint from dripping and it'll look so much better than if you were just to apply one heavy coat of spray paint. I'm also going to spray the upper inside portion of the planter as well that the flowers won't cover. Do you ever feel you don't get out what you're putting in? All your hopes and efforts are all in Okay, and let me know down below if you think this is a good concrete planter dupe. I'm not sure if I feel like it looks like concrete or not necessarily, but I'm really happy with the result. I like that they are all matching and uniform. They look new and they don't look like they have been sitting out in the sun for a while. And now I cannot wait to get my new little flower babies all set up in here. If you are new here, my name is Jessica and I have two kiddos. You have already seen my best little helper, Miles, in this video. And I also have a six month old baby girl. I just started a second YouTube channel where I show mom life videos, my keto weight loss journey, among other non decor and home related content. So if you wanna check that out, I will leave the link to that channel down below. And I would love if you would head over and subscribe. My goal is to hit 1000 subscribers by the end of July. Also at Hobby Lobby, I found this cute little wooden sign and all of their wall decor was marked half off. So I got it for around $6 and I'm just using some command strip tape to secure it by our door. I 
I also found another item at Hobby Lobby which was also marked off. This wreath was half off and I believe I got it for right around $20. So aside from the size of this wreath, I love that it's a neutral green color that I can use all year round. My crates are dry and I'm playing around with how I want to set these up. These crates are so cool because you can really use them in a lot of different ways. It just depends on what they will be used for. I plan on using the top as a table and the bottom part as kind of an open shelf to store and display decor. The way I wanted to set up my table, I decided I needed an actual top. So I picked up two of these wood signs at Walmart and they were by their wood crafts. They were each $5. So with the crates, this table cost me $30 to make. I'm using E6000 to secure the tops onto the crates. We get some really strong winds here, so this step was definitely necessary. And now I'm just gonna put something heavy on top and let this sit and dry overnight. I'm excited to show you this simple DIY marshmallow roasting station that I thought would be the perfect addition to our front porch this summer. I found this raised planter at Walmart. The brand is Better Homes and Gardens and it was $10. You're also going to need an ethanol gel can. These are the things that caterers use to keep food warm at parties. I found mine at Walmart. And then I also picked up just these small rocks to secure the can in place. And when we started putting it together, I didn't want it to be too heavy and I didn't want the can to sit too far down. So we used some packing foam to kind of prop everything up and keep this more more lightweight. Another decor item from my home I am reusing in this makeover is this tiered tray that I found on clearance at Kirkland's last year. And I'm just going to set this up with some decor items and functional things like bug spray and a citronella candle. I thought this little DIY crate table turned out so perfect for this space and I'm actually really inspired to use crates for other makeovers that I have planned in our home so stay tuned for that. One of the best parts about doing any home makeover is just seeing everything come together, all of your ideas in use and in one place. I just love this space. We've been using it every single day. We come out here in the morning, we come out in the evenings, and Miles was so excited to make some s'mores out here. And I just love how this turned out. It was so affordable. Even if you didn't want to use a planter, you can just pick up one of these cans and set it on a plate if you wanted to. You don't have to get that fancy and it made my son so happy to be able to do this out here and it was just a really affordable fun thing that we could do while staying home and just spending time together as a family. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY front porch makeover on a budget and that you were able to get some ideas that you can use in your own home. Make sure that you guys stay tuned for more home makeover videos. I also have a ton of motivating cleaning and decluttering videos. I post new videos every single Wednesday and Saturday here on my channel. 
I also have a ton of farmhouse decorating ideas and I am so excited to start my fall decorating. I know this may be a little bit too soon for some people, but I have already got so many good ideas. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!